All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Risen, and you're tuning into the greatest gaming podcast in the world, No Randos. Often imitated, but never duplicated, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. Today, we venture off into Red Dead Redemption land to talk with our honorable guest, Tonto, who is our brawling expert and fight extraordinaire. He's invited us uh, to join up with some friends afterwards to run some 1v1s. Uh, so without further ado, welcome, sir. You ready for uh, tonight's fight? Of course, yes. I'm yeah. always ready, bro, you know? <laughs> always, always. Always stay ready. Bro. Exactly. Do you do you have any uh, pre-fight rituals before stepping in? <laughs> Not necessarily, no. I just, you know, make sure all my health is up. That's that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready but... to go, bro. Well, what kind of player would you consider yourself uh, in general uh, in Red Dead? Are you like a casual player? Are you a grinder? Um, try hard? I guess um, over time... Uh, I gradually lost more and more things to do, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I always started off grinding this game, I love this game, always have, it's by far my my favorite game ever, you know, I, I love it. Um, well, I'd say within the first two years, I was grinding non-stop, like, just going and going. Wags. I spent, and yeah, I, I, exactly, I mean, but I spent hella money on this game too, like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro, I well, spent so much money on this game. Like real world dollars, or like, yes, like, like okay, okay. Yeah, I spent a fuck ton of money on this game for like all the roles, um, I got nearly every fucking outlaw pass, every Halloween pass. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I started off as, you know, grinding, and then eventually I kind of... Oh lost things to do in the game you got I competitive came to fight club then oh okay okay wow so yeah, yeah so like what what triggered that aspect of uh the game what 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 sucked you into fighting in rdr um i guess it, it kind of because i always went through like group posts on xbox obviously um mm -hmm. and, uh, i always seen them but i never really joined them and then uh one of my friends uh, he's actually like an og fight clubber Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't really play, you know, like our Red Dead anymore. But okay. um, he told me about it, so I joined up one day. I kept to it, and I'm here now. So okay, uh, shout him out. What's his gamer tag? Uh, I think it's just Bear. Classic. Pretty sure that's just it. Bear, okay, yeah. That that sounds like a good uh, fighting name, anyways. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> For yeah. real. How often yeah. would you say you fight uh, per week? Shit. Uh, I mean, unless I have something happening that day, IRL, then I'm fighting every day, bro. Every day. No kidding. Okay. No kidding. And and the um, the tournaments and the, like the bigger events are more on Fridays and uh, Saturdays, I think. I. Well, with with my group, it is. Yeah, my friend group, it is. Mm -hmm. Um. However, I know some people who host it on like uh, Saturdays or Sundays. Not everyone does them, you know. It kind of died out yeah. over time. Yeah. But um, yeah, we've been trying to keep it going a little bit more for the community, hoping to get some more people in, you know. Well, I mean, meeting up with you guys uh, last week, I was pretty impressed with uh, right. you know a full lobby, uh, 15, uh, 15, 16 uh, players on deck. Um, and just it, how you. how organized everyone was. I mean, the only people that mm -hmm. really sabotaged the fight were the randos that walked in uh, on Saint and in Saint right. Denis and things. So, I mean, st still, it's definitely uh, it's definitely still going. A lot of people still um, talk about the game being dead, and I don't know. Coming in, uh, I mean, I, I think I'm on my third week here, and uh, it, mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about it being dead, but it just for me it doesn't seem like the case. If anything, uh, right. You know, GTA is taking more of a beating with a ban hammer and things like that. Oh, for real, yeah. I mean, I, I've never really properly played GTA. I've never really kind of, mm -hmm. you know, seen myself enjoying it as much mm -hmm. as I do with Red Dead. I've always liked Red Dead since it came out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, but, uh, the, the, the fighting is significantly more intuitive in RDR. It definitely oh, seems sure. more of a match for your uh, type of personality. Definitely. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. um but uh, it's a tight knit community you know uh yeah. nearly every fight club you go into you have to know someone I, like i've been doing this shit for like three years so almost every fight club i go into i know who's who's generally in there or whatever you know yeah 
Like, do you do you have any fighting experience in real life, or um, um, or is it just like a gaming thing? You've always been fascinated by combat. Well, uh, I'm Irish, mm -hmm. so in Ireland, boxing is a big thing. No kidding. Um, no kidding. Yeah, it's a it's a huge thing. Nearly every family knows how to. They have some experience in boxing. Nearly every family in Ireland does. Well, it's in your um, blood. Yeah, your blood, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Um, well, I had not much, but I've done some boxing in my past. Uh, okay. I'd say roughly about a year, maybe two years. Not that much. Um, not, not bad. But yeah, that's that was about it really. I don't have anything else apart from that. I done a bit of kickboxing when I was younger too. But that was that was nothing. That was just you know, just uh, something mm -hmm. to do, I guess. But for sure, it'll uh, it'll give you some uh, practical skills to use in your life. You know, to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe something Definitely. that maybe something that, uh, that that RDR won't be able to necessarily teach, uh, or maybe they right. can. I don't know. But, right. Uh, um, were there any um, movies or actors or characters that kind of uh, inspired you in your life or in uh, your gaming life? Like, I can give you an example. Um, if you've ever seen Snatch or Fight Club, I mean, Brad Pitt is mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the Definitely. Fight Club GOAT. He's got so many <laughs> fighting sure. movies under his belt. Um, are are yes. you familiar with uh, Snatch or uh, any other movies? Uh, I, I know Fight Club. I don't know Snatch, so I'm not aware of that. Okay, okay. Snatch was crazy. Snatch is a right. great freaking movie, but um, okay. Um, but uh, I have to say, if not necessarily actors or anything, I'd say more towards like YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, like from a young age, when uh, you know Jack Yep. Uh, from a young age, I grew up watching him my whole life. I met, I went to see him uh, actually in Ireland. Mm -hmm. He had a show with. Uh, do you know the Game Grumps? Uh no I don't, unfortunately. Oh well, they're uh, they're two YouTubers. They're like best friends. Uh, they had a show here in Ireland, uh, in Dublin. I want to go see that for my um. I want to see my sixteenth birthday maybe. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, I, I, he's who inspired me to do a lot of um gaming and going further further on into my, I guess, you know, career of gaming. If, okay. So to say, yeah. So, like, even your reactions and, like, how you speak was influenced by uh, Jack Septicai? Um, well, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but um, I'm saying, like, leaning more into trying out different games, for example. Okay. Like, a lot of games I didn't hear about, he, I found out from his videos and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. But um, I wouldn't say... Uh, I've always kind of kept myself, uh, you know, I've always had, like, been inside my own little bubble. I've always kind of enjoy it having my own personality and stuff like that yeah yeah i bet yeah well what uh what keeps you playing uh today um what keeps just you red dead or in general yeah i mean like well what keeps you uh playing red dead uh you know up until this point um, i guess just knowing that i can come on every day knowing that there's going to be someone that recognizes me and that i could help them out or you know, I guess just playing the game in general. I just love playing it, bro. I, there's not much, there's not much else I can say. I just, you know, I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, and the boys um, and the community. Of course, of course, yeah. definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's really it, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, going back to like the uh, the game specifically. Okay, what's what's unique about the hand hand to hand combat in RDR um, um, compared to other games? Hmm. I guess it's because the it, it's not as um, it's a bit more like you have to have a li little bit more recognition for like let's say for like animations and stuff like years ago when like well let's say four or five years ago um, when I start first started doing fight clubs mm -hmm. actually I want to say it was probably like three or four years ago but yeah okay twenty one I didn't know yeah I didn't know a thing about. Like I, I didn't know a single thing about fight clubs. Like I, I was terrible. Mm -hmm. And then over time, I started to like, you know, look at different like fighting styles. I knew that some people played more offensive, more defensive. Mm -hmm. Um, and I noticed over time that there was certain animations characters would do in order for me to get certain shots off and stuff like that. Okay. Um, okay. so I guess I don't know. It's. It just, it, I had that urge to learn more about it, you know? 
I kind of, I've, I loved it from the beginning. And I, you know, what you wanted to I like, to, uh, you, you know, develop into someone, uh, like respectable in the, uh, exactly, community. exactly. Build a character. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're right. Exactly. Oh. Definitely. Okay. And, and, um, uh... I mean, talking about characters and things like that. Do you have a theme for your fighter? Do you? I mean, you're running the uh, Ram. What, can you uh, yeah. describe uh, what's going on here? So this outfit, this is like my main outfit. I I always wear this outfit all okay. the time. Um, I uh, I don't really know where it came from, to be honest. I kind of based it off of Krampus. Um, I don't know if you know who Krampus is, but uh, no, unfortunately. Yeah. So he's basically. Um, the best way to describe him is like Santa from Hell. Okay. <laughs> um, there's actually a, a movie about it. Um, it's actually a horror movie. Okay. It's like a horror slash okay. comedy. Yeah, I kind of stuck with it. I always everyone just complimented me about it. I was like, all right, fuck it. This is my this is my outfit from yeah. now on. You know. Um. Y yo, even your about... shoes kind of have this like. Uh, all right. Yeah. Theme to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these uh these shoes are from uh, the Outlaw Pass. I'm not sure which one. Okay. But, um, that's another thing everyone notices about my my outfits is the fucking shoes, the way they like curl and shit. It's funny. Yeah. yeah. So it's like the I would say it's like the Ram Santa Claus from Hell kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Wow, it's like super unique. I I do have a uh, like a Native American character, so I've I've made a lot of um, Native outfits. Okay. Uh, but um, I wouldn't say like I I have a, a specific kind of look. I, I kind of wear everything and anything, I, you know, as long as it looks good, I'm happy with it. That's really it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean it comes together nice. And... Here's um, a question kind of off topic a little bit. But if you weren't mm -hmm. so into games, what do you think you'd be doing instead? Damn. Um, I'll be honest with you, bro. I've been I've been struggling, looking for work, um, mm -hmm. for a while now. I, I I was doing barbering for a while. Oh, no uh, kidding. Yeah, I used to cut hair for like a year. Um, That's sick. Then uh, over time, I kind of lost interest in it, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I, I stopped working. Um, but I've I visited the states twice last year. Okay. Uh, nice. Yeah, my girlfriend actually lives in the states. And, um, her dad owns his own uh, plumbing company. Oh, I'm not no. gonna say names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out, uh, you know, uh, non um, Yeah, but uh, he allowed me to work under the table with him for a while. And, okay, yeah. so you uh, you plan on getting your cards, uh, your plumbing cards, and things like that uh, in Europe? Perhaps, maybe. I mean, it was fun and all, but you know, some things aren't just my thing. You know, like I. I'm, I'm a very homey person. Like I, I don't really like to, to go outside as much. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very, you know, introverted, antisocial usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's that's the best word. I'm very introverted. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Um, you seem very well spoken for uh, an introvert, though. I, look, I've learned to work with it for years. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, like I was. I'm just gonna say this out of blue. I don't really mind, um, but I was actually diagnosed with um, Asperger's when okay. I was 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I had to live with being antisocial my whole life, and, and understanding like, how it works and your like right. strengths and your weaknesses. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and uh, yeah, over time, I guess I guess the best way to say it is when i turned 18 uh like this is literally crazy but my dad brought me out to the pub for the first time okay wow and um we had a few drinks and i noticed that like it's not the drink didn't really influence it but i guess going out so often like i because i go out every week okay like like uh pub. irl yeah yeah, yeah okay, IRL, okay. IRL. um I, would, I just went out every week for uh, about maybe two, three months, and I noticed that my character and my personality started to build up, and a lot of people were recognizing me when I was going out and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was like, fuck it. I mean, shit, if it's working that way, then 
I'm pretty sure, you know. Yeah, and it builds it that works. confidence, and you're uh, exactly you, you kind of you're talking about you get like uh, social anxiety or things like that. Yes, times? yes, okay. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very bad. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. I mean, um, it's always interesting to see what kind of um, people are behind the, uh, the the characters that they play. You know what I mean? Um, right, for but, sure. Do you, Do you think that uh, gaming holds you back in life? Um, definitely, yeah. I would say that for sure. Um, mm -hmm. what aspect? I have, I have a, a not a big family, but I've, I have two younger brothers and an older sister, and um, I have a nephew. My mom and dad lives with me too. Well, I live with my mom and dad. That's mm -hmm. a better way to put it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's just, I guess gaming has taken over my life a good bit. I definitely need to stay off. <laughs> I'll have Xbox for a while, that's for sure. I, my whole life I've been playing Xbox, and yeah. I guess it's taken over a good bit, but it, it's a part of life, bro. Shit, what can I say? Like, it, yeah, and it happens. Yeah. There, there are social advantages to it. I mean, our right. uh, our friendship uh, circles are completely different with the uh, mm -hmm. online gaming scene. And, uh, you know, Definitely. you mentioned you, you, know, you, have a uh, you have a girlfriend in the States. You met her uh, yeah. through Xbox? So there. No, I actually oh, met okay. her on a uh, a live streaming app. Oh no shit! Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. And yeah. The, and the, and you did you get her into RDR or was she already playing? I RDR? did. Oh, yes, I got her into it. That's sick. That's yeah, sick. yeah. C couples doing couple things, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What would you say is the most enjoyable part of the the game these days? Um, knowing that I can meet people through mm -hmm. that small community that that i be in let's say for example like for fight clubs like i i go in and every day i'll see the same people but there will also be some new people that i haven't met before mm -hmm. and knowing that they, they might need help with something on the game i have no problem doing that um yeah it's yeah, refreshing just meeting refreshing. new people yeah yeah it's refreshing seeing new faces and like uh of course you know exactly the they're trying exactly. to integrate, and oh, we got a, got ourselves a random. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Fun. Easy with the gunshots, bro. My ears are sensitive. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh wow, it's it's my boy. Hold on, I'm gonna have to message him real quick. Nice. <laughs> my bad. No, there's no there's my no worries, bad. bro. It's, it's full of random. Hold on, I'll message him real quick. Yeah, My there's bad, no. Bro. He could he could he could sit in. I don't care. I don't care. Gonna message him real quick though. No problem. There he's sitting down. So um, I mean obviously we, we you know we went through uh, what the most enjoyable part of the game is, um, which is mm -hmm. you know community, and uh, meeting uh, new people all the time, which is kind of ironic if people are saying that it's a dead game and yet people are right for still real jumping on, but um. Well, do you think it's dead? I wouldn't necessarily say it's dead. It's more or less just that uh, just old. the community is are small. I yeah. think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you get into a certain aspect of the game, um, it can definitely seem small knowing that there's other people that are doing the exact same thing as you, you know? Mm -hmm. And you won't be seeing as much people outside of that uh, you know, category of what you're doing if if you know what I mean, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, but I can understand why people are saying it's it's uh, dead. I mean, there used to be so much more people in this game, that's for sure. Running around, um, griefing, right. and cheating. And of course, stuff. and like, even like talking about the, the group posts again, like, there used to be, like, what, over a thousand group posts per day for what? just Red Dead, you know? Like... That's insane. No, it's only up to like a hundred, maybe yeah. two hundred, if lucky. You know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's dead. It's just a. There's a lot of small communities on here. Yeah, and like the small, the smaller the community, the more significant each player uh, is in in the game, right? I mean. Right. Exactly. Uh, definitely. The bigger the character is going to be in that community, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Sure. Like, just like the contrast of you know going from GTA to RDR, it's like mm -hmm. everything I do in this game is more uh, significant. Um, it's if, mm -hmm. for some reason it's easier to meet people. Um, 
and it's easier to meet people and actually stay in touch with them um of whereas, course definitely whereas on the yeah on the gta side it's kind of like you're more of a, you're more of a number and you're you're more likely to be forgotten mm -hmm. which is kind of definitely kind of to be it's kind of expected but anyway i 100 percent agree with that definitely yeah well well what's your what's your favorite memory in rdr of all time Ooh, me and my old friend group, we used to, uh, I guess, just do a lot of glitches, a lot of funny glitches, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, um, the, the glitch memories and breaking the game. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Uh, there's a glitch that we used to do down, um, it's actually pretty close to here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. Down in the, um, what's it called? The, uh, down in Benedict Pass, there's a bridge. And you can um, throw throwing knives or hatchets at the bridge, and it'll send you flying in the air. I can actually send you a game clip if you'd like after the interview. Yeah, whatever. sure. Benedict Pass is like, sorry, I don't know my locations by heart. It is. I always try to look for this freaking Benedict Pass. It's a uh, down uh, underneath Tumbleweed. It's like to the right of Tumbleweed. If you see, it's right below us. Yeah, right here. Okay, so you yeah, go to Benedict yeah. Pass, and then uh, what was the glitch exactly? It was uh, like th you're using throwing knives. Yeah, so you uh, you throw throwing knives or hatchets at the bridge, okay. and um, essentially it would make the bridge glitch and like fly all over the place, and it will send your character flying into the sky. Okay, okay. And it's crazy. It was actually a, a a decent glitch for a while to get into Mexico. Okay. You can actually get into Mexico in this game, yeah, if you do that glitch. That's um, sick. But yeah, it was pretty funny. I remember a lot of fucked up shit happening. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny. And and they uh, they patched the glitch, I'm assuming? Um, no, it's, I'm pretty sure it's still a thing. No honestly. kidding. I, I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm I'm fairly sure it's still a thing. Speaking on like the topic of locations, like what's your favorite place to uh, fight? My favorite place um honestly uh probably the flower field in um big valley okay yeah it's really pretty down there too um it's just like very open, open space yeah it's an open field it's full of um I i'm not sure what type of flowers they are but they're like purple flowers i guess it's lavender maybe i'm not sure okay yeah yeah but okay yeah right here little creek river where the mint yeah. is Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are fighting there in the open. Like, uh, is there like a yes? <laughs> okay, okay. So there's no um, these rocks that are there that we usually fight around. They're like big boulders that are uh, like kind of coming out of the ground. We usually fight around there, mm -hmm. and it's uh, a nice big flower field. It's really pretty. Okay, sick. Yeah, sick. Yeah. Um, I mean, I uh, my favorite spot so far is the one that you showed me the the Tonto Fork. Uh, we'll call it um all the way yeah, up. Yeah, in... yeah, yeah. Uh, Rath, Rath Skeller, Rath Skeller yes, fork yes, yes. with the the farm, uh, the farm, the mm -hmm. the pen and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to get into uh, you know the more technical side of things um, before we head out to right. the fight tonight. Uh, you want to head on over there, and we could uh, we could kind For of sure. do, you know For run sure. some drills For quickly. For sure, awesome. I'm down, bro. Awesome, awesome. Head on over. I think it's all the way down here. Yeah, I actually quite like this location too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It, um, I like the way it's kind of in the middle of nowhere as well, you know? Yeah, you can't it's get in the barren that. desert. <laughs> yeah. And there's not uh, too many things in the way of the, uh, the area. Exactly, the exactly. Alright, so this is it. Yes. The spot. Interesting. Indeed, indeed. Oh yeah, and uh, before we jump in, I'm just gonna take off my mm -hmm. uh, rifles and stuff like that. Uh, no problem. There you go. Um, would you like me to keep my cards on or? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, very well. I don't well, even know how to. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to win either. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Just trying to work on certain things to understand how all this works. I remember uh, last time, the only fight I went to, I got disqualified because I freaking took out my pistol and I smacked him in the head. And oh, dumb. I was like so close that to winning. Happen. Yes. Yeah. So, um, um, 
if you can kind of uh, walk me through the rules, uh, two seconds, like the uh, the main rules. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. um, it's customary to you know drop your rifles. You don't want to pick right. them up. You don't want to pull them out uh, during a fight. Right. Usual attire. Um, um. What else can you think of? Yeah. So, uh, so the basic rules usually in a fight club is no tonics. So basically, the drinks that, uh, allow you to get more health. Mm -hmm. There's none of those whatsoever. Um, we usually try to keep the, the horses out of the ring because they can interrupt fights. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, there's no choking. Uh, there's usually no grappling, but some of Fight Club's allow grappling, which I think is fucking stupid. Because, no, yeah, for sure. It's um, it's like dirty boxing. Strict, uh, exactly, basically. it really is. It's, it is. Yeah. Um, and uh, what else? Um... And obviously, no melee weapons such as like knives, axes, yeah. swords, whatever the fuck you can think of. Mm -hmm. Just purely fists. That's really it. And yeah. um, like, do you guys have rounds, or it's just straight till you die? Um, do you guys straight until you die? Yeah, all the time, right? Because yeah. some of these uh, technical the fights, they they last really long. Do you guys have any break? Like, is it is it normal to have any breaks? Does that do you guys ever stop the fight? Um, not really. I mean, the, the only way in this game, to, like, let's say, if you were to have a break, is to get more health back, which mm -hmm. is unrealistic, since the game, you know, doesn't really... It's not realistic in that sense, mm -hmm. you know? Um, okay. Unless there was, like, I guess, like maybe a 15-second break, and you could heal up, you know, maybe two bars of health, if that works. But I've never heard of that rule ever, so... Okay. Um, yeah, not really. I, I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. Um, so like, uh, yeah, that makes that makes so that makes sense. Um, so when we st when we set up here, okay, um, mm -hmm. we can you can kind of talk me through the uh, the initial part of the fight here. Um, and I'll try mm -hmm. to. I'll try. I'll try to kind of replicate what you're trying to explain, all right? So, like, uh, okay. let's say the fight starts. It's it's me versus you, okay? Um, right. What's usually your your go to move to start at the beginning? Do you wait for people to push you, or are you already blocking um, your guard up? So, me personally, I always let them for first punch. Mm -hmm, smart. Uh, because I know that. So usually the initial reaction to a, like a, well not reaction but the the first animation that usually happens is a push mm -hmm. so um i guess we can we can get into it yeah uh, sure so yeah. i'm gonna go with you you see there that's that's a push. That, that was the and, the push was what a melee um, like a b you press um, b to push yeah you press b yes okay you press now b to push all right and that triggers um, the fight here. and now um yeah we're in the the stance right now nice um, usually after that first push, I know that a second punch is usually going to come because the first punch is always going to come with them spamming their B. That's, yeah. Without yeah. a doubt, it's, that always happens. They never usually stop pressing B unless, I don't know, they're used to fighting. I'm not sure. Okay, and but, it's, um, it's a common strategy, but is it smart to go hard like at the beginning? to like I think it's to um, establish dominance, maybe to intimidate or something? Yes, I'd say technically it is smart to... To kind of go hard on the B button at first, mm -hmm. um, I usually wait until about half health to start getting defensive okay. and kind of strategizing my movement and stuff. For example, okay, um, like uh, I don't, I'm not sure what else to explain here. Like, uh, I guess we could kind of get a fight going, and yeah. as I'm doing certain stuff on you, I'll explain how to do it, right? Okay, cool. So uh, right. I'll I'll start the I'll, I'll start with the first move. Like I'll I'll go in like you right. like you uh, said. Like they usually come in and they spam B, boom. Okay, yeah, spam B. Right. And now I'm gonna go back into uh, yeah. blocking. Oh my god. Okay, so my fuck? you do. I must you... be. I'm out of energy. Uh, that's actually okay. Um, okay. No stamina doesn't really matter in fights the only thing is it's going to make you sluggish it's going to make you have slower movement mm -hmm. um that's the only downfall to well, it and your uh, attack is you always can, the same like your, your attack will always out yeah you're you're always going to have the same animations everything else it's fine okay yeah um but uh usually when you're blocking like you are right now that's, I'll what, that's go what's draining me distance 
distance is a big thing, and in, in my opinion, I always try to keep distance. Okay, like you try but, to close in distance, or uh, um, I, I usually try to, for example, when someone's uh, blocking, I mm -hmm. try to, um, I try to, uh, what's it called? Uh, keep my distance so okay. that I can try get a job in. Okay. And I can show you what that looks like. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I'm gonna go back into that real quick. Nice, perfect. Um, oh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh my bad. So right now we're keeping distance. If I get close to you, right, oh, and I back man, up. I oh. fucked up. My bad. I gotta stop doing. You're that. all good. You're all good. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Okay. Hold on. There we go. So if uh, I come up close to you and I move back two steps, oh, I can get nice. a jab in like that. Okay. Right. So close back and then boom. There. A little there you go. Mid perfect. Perfect. Oh. That was literally perfect. Mm -hmm. Um. And that's a, a thing you have to learn on this game. Not everyone can do it. it it's actually really strategic, mm -hmm. um, especially when they're blocking, because it's an unblockable punch. Okay, yeah. So um, that's really st strategic. And um, another thing, I'm just going to get a combo off on you real quick, okay. and I just want to show you the stun animation. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm ca I can show you what I can do afterwards then. All right, okay. perfect. Okay, so you're in a stun animation. I can move to your... Hold on. I need to do it again, my bad. Boom, boom. Okay, so you're in stun animation. I go to your right. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay, you might want to heal up a bit first. Uh, yeah, just... Sorry, I'm trying to no I'm trying to get this going. My Single bad bro. Tonic. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that's all good. If you want you can choke tonic throughout it, bro, that's fine. I'm trying to you know, gonna help you out real quick. Yeah. Get these uh these moves down, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you get that stun. So you... I'm gonna try to do this. Boom. Okay, there we go. Your... I move to your right, and I can get a shoulder grab. Like okay, that. okay, okay. So go for the stun, and then, um, then, then. You like... move to their oh closest, whatever shoulder is closest to you. You move directly towards it. Okay, okay. So the stun, so, uh, and then, and then, and then, and then the shoulder grab. Um, yes. Uh, but you have to sidestep exactly. to like, or no, or no, the body is displaced. Yes. Because okay. Exactly. So the body, when it's in stun, it will stay facing in the direction that it's in currently. Like, mm -hmm. let's say, for example, I'm facing here, and then you can sidestep towards the shoulder, mm -hmm. which will allow you to get a shoulder grab. Okay. And um, another thing is, with the shoulder grab, you can have a almost a guaranteed combo, but sometimes um, it will allow you to block sometimes. So okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, there's that. Those are some, like, little strategies to fight during the fight. Yeah. Um, exactly. L let's say you're, um, let's say you're losing mid fight. What are mm -hmm. some measures you take to kind of adapt or to kind of tilt the uh, the fight itself? Um, I guess getting counters is definitely mm -hmm. the best thing. Uh, counter punching or, you know, dodging definitely they're the the top things you want to do. Okay. Um, but I do know people, uh, I don't know if you've ever tur heard of turtling. No, not really. Okay. Um, it's basically just where they essentially keep pressing X until they get a stun. Yeah, yeah. And okay. they can just keep, uh, they can just keep getting a combo on you. Okay. But, um, the, the way to counter that is by getting, uh, Superman punches. Okay, okay. Um, Yeah. Pretend like I'm winning or whatever, and I'm and I'm going mm -hmm. in. I'm spamming B, and I'm connecting with all my punches. Um, mm -hmm. What's like? Uh, let, let's try to simulate what what would happen. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. I'll bet, land. Bet, bet, bet. I, I guess I'll land like two punches, and then I'll try perfect, to keep going. Perfect. All right. So you're gonna have to perfect. take. Perfect. All right. Ready. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom. All right. Go. Okay, so Immediately block. Okay. There nice. There we go. I got the death jab in. Okay. Nice one. Nice. Nice uppercut. Ooh, nasty. I'm getting worked. Hey, that right, was a counter going. you've done right there. Nice. Okay. okay. The animations are being a bit glitchy at the minute, but there's yeah, a counter. Nice, beautiful counter. Okay, so you have to you have oh, to double shit, down. Man. Oh wow, did you see that? That I literally went to go swing yeah. to fucking go through your your swing. That was crazy. Yeah, it, it was insane. The animations are somewhat glitchy on this game, yeah. so and um, kind of have to can, yeah. Can you can you show uh, can you demonstrate a Superman punch? Yes. So um, distance. So you want to step back at maybe this far, and then if I press B, it will do this, nice. which is a Superman punch. Haymaker. Yeah. Sick. Exactly. That's okay. Okay. Cool. 
So you you can't be yeah. like uh, you can't be in guard mode like like we were like we are now. Right. You have to let go, right. and then you have to manually jump in and punch kind of stuff. Right. Uh, like, so like like you're doing right now, you're moving back. So if I move back, I can press just keep pressing right. B, and it'll do it. Nice. But nice. you can be like if you want to hold X. Uh, uh, I can show you that it counters the uh, it counters that. See. Okay. Yeah, like I can just keep doing it, and it it doesn't do as much damage as a lot of moves do. Okay. But um, it's a def it's definitely a, be a better way to allow them to throw a punch and you counter it. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the, the 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 camera angles are pretty intense uh, in this game. Right. Like fighting like it's got, for real. It's got like this. Uh, like I said, it's more over the shoulder type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's sick. Okay, um, and now do I'm you have? To think of what else there is to learn. Do, um, do you use any exploits at all? Do you? Um, no, bro. Yeah. I mean, the only like the only exploits I do know is glitch fighting, where you, where you literally press X and B constantly. Like you you go from X to B to X to B to X to B. You just keep doing it and. Like if you if you want, I can demonstrate it on you. Yeah. Like um, so like I can just keep doing it, and it'll allow me to get like the most insane count, uh, the most insane um combos ever. Okay. And okay. especially if you have your timing down. Do I block? Like, Do I keep insane. blocking or? You can you can keep blocking. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like it. Okay. So that allow that. But if I keep doing it, over time it will allow me to get a punch. So okay. Like, there we go. See. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty effective. Um, yeah, it is. The only thing is with uh, glitch fighting is um. I I guess it it, it technically you want to have timing down. So, um, usually uh, every um, every punch I do, especially with jobs, I wait like literally 0.5 seconds between each punch. Mm -hmm. Uh, to time jabs like i've literally gotten like a seven to eight combo before and someone like okay wow yeah like timing is is definitely a big thing you want to have in fighting um for sure don't just like there's... spam uh swinging swings and you know you have to you know right 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 counter and everything yeah exactly um yeah it, yeah timing is a big thing okay Probably the most, uh, probably the most important thing, if anything. Especially right. When definitely. You're, definitely. When, when you're trying to like tilt the fighter, you're trying to like you said turtling. I mean, that's all. That's mm -hmm. all timing counters and uh, and really, yeah, it your is. stamina. Exactly. Exactly. It's like when you know definitely. you're gonna lose the fight. Uh, mm -hmm. At that point, you have to like stall it out and try to you know take right, the least definitely. amount of damage and recover. Exactly. Exactly. It, and it, it comes it, down to cards too. Yeah. Cards is a big thing in fist fights. Okay, so let's go into that two seconds. Um, I can look at your cards and see right. what's going on. Um, can you explain to me why you chose uh, all of these? This is your fight build. Uh, your fight. Uh, yes. Build? Okay. These are my fight club cards. Um, so my dead eye card, a moment to recuperate. Uh, yeah. It allows me. So it's a dead eye card. Um, it, it allows me to heal after my fights without taking any food or anything like that. I can just Seal pop. Um, I can just use my dead eye and it'll heal me up straight away. And it's like to chain um, uh, more fights together. You don't have to exactly. Yeah, so up. you it's... won't have exactly. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's it, it doesn't take as much time. That's that's the best way to put it. Yeah, and you're not even allowed yeah. to use tonics in, in FC. In right. FC. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Definitely. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's like at level three, obviously. They're all level threes. Mm -hmm. uh, next one yeah. is uh, the short game. Yeah, so short game, I can read it out to you real quick. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, it says you deal more damage to targets closer to you, but less damage to targets farther away. Okay. Perfect. So um, I guess it technically could be a PvP card too, mm -hmm. but uh, you just have to be very close to them. Um, I mean, there are no ranged you know, fighting uh, kills, anyways. Exactly, you know, exactly. Fucking you know. fingernails or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, in fight clubs, you have to be close and personal with a person in, in order to get punches in. So that's why I use that one. Okay, sick. Um, and then winning streak. Um, it says each consecutive shot you do on the target does much more damage than the last. 
uh, damage bonus ends if the target is not shot for 10 seconds. Okay, so, so huge card here. Yeah, it's a big, big card. It's uh, definitely one of the best ones to have. But um, you, you, you lose your multiply, you lose your uh, your damage bonus as soon as you swing yeah. and miss. Exactly, or if you get blocked, it'll stop Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then Strange Medicine. Uh, you, grain, you, you regain a lot of health whenever you inflict damage. Okay. Your health Crazy. otherwise regenerates half the normal rate. So, Crazy. every point, like let's say for, if I was losing in a fight, and I managed to get a combo off, and uh, yeah, I, I'll get in hella damage, like, or sorry, hella health. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, it's insane. I th um, yeah, these last two cards are really i mean all of them are right. are pretty good but the the last two cards seem to be pretty significant it, they are they're, they're definitely the most common card to use as well very strong uh loadout here not bad oh right. my bad right. all right you're all good you're all good okay cool so um and 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 um towards the end of the fights what are some um uh, tactics that you use to kind of finish people off you know, um to go in for, in for the kill so to speak hmm. uh i guess definitely like because i know that whenever people are low they go straight into defensive mode they they know that they they're going low and they need to to um what do you call it uh to, they get that the... defense in you know okay um so i know i i what i usually do is i do those superman punches like okay that, yeah and that usually allows them to like not allows them, but it influences them to punch or okay. to counter. So what I do is I wait for that and I just press X. That's honestly it, and okay. that allows me okay. to block, and then I can get an underhand. Okay, so uh, let's let's try to reenact it then. Like, uh, come. Right. For, I'll try to block your Superman punch. Oh, actually, okay, I think uh, you probably need to punch me here. Punch me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There so now go. you come up. So. I'm gonna block. This is unblockable, so I I can't you can't block it. You see, and okay. when that happens, okay. usually people end up throwing a punch, and I know that that punch is coming, so I press X to okay, block okay, it, okay. and that allows me to get an underhand. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Right, Sorry. Bet, 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 bet. Oh man, let's try okay. again. My bad. You managed to get that off. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's because you got a jab there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and that that jab is unblockable too. So we'll try it one more time. Oh man, swing! Oh, and now it allows me. <laughs> For some reason, I... it's allowing you to do everything but what I want you to do. I can't block your Superman punch. It's strange. Uh, let's try. Yeah, to... it's unblockable. It's it's an unblockable okay. punch. Yeah. Um, hold on. I'll try one more time. There we go. Oh, and nice see the way block. I just blocked that block in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So see. I usually know that that's coming, and I get that underhand in. Nice. We'll try it one more time. One more time. All right. Now I'm gonna ah. Oh, let me try to oh, fucking. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Okay, so in in that scenario, okay, if that stuff happens in a fight, obviously people are gonna step mm -hmm. in. They're gonna try to rope you and whatever. There's no mm -hmm, choking mm -hmm. allowed, and that you know it ruins the integrity of the fight for sure. But, right, right. But yeah, all right. Not bad. Not bad for uh, right, for right, a warm up. Right. Um, Definitely. I'm out. Let let's get a let's get a legit fight uh, going. Um, uh before before the fight tonight i'm pumped to uh no problem no problem yeah uh let me just have a look at your build real quick i want to oh, oh wanna yeah you're you got gonna... running. <laughs> okay okay not bad not bad <laughs> peak condition is uh actually a decent card to use in fifth okay fights. um sick yeah it's not bad it's a stamina card so it allows you to have more stamina which isn't necessarily the best for fight clubs but it is you know it, yeah it allows your character not to be as sluggish i'm running like a full um, sniper build so not really right, right, into right. fighting but yeah i'm definitely gonna get a a fighter uh loadouts going one of these days for sure definitely yeah. um i would like to fight you with my cards off if, if that's okay oh yeah yeah go ahead sure. just to make it more fair because i i understand that yeah, I I have a pretty insane build, so <laughs> very effective. Yeah, we'll balance it yes. out. We'll 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 bad, fight bad, raw. Bad. All right. Well, so whenever you're ready, bro. Um, and and how do how do things? I mean, it's just like a regular. Oh yeah, it's a gunshot. Yeah. People uh, just fire gunshots, and then like the that's like the round starting, whatever. Is um, matter? well, either that or, uh, well, it depends. Like if we're talking about a tournament, 
obviously the host will say, you know, okay, this person, this person fight, and then they say three, two, one, go. Okay. But uh, in regular fight clubs, usually what happens is they'll uh, they'll emote emo towards you, and that's oh, okay. how you know they're ready to fight. Okay, so... But, uh, yeah. Okay, that works. And then I can do this right back. Okay, cool. Not and then it, <laughs> then it starts. And then it's on, yeah. All right, let's let's Good tussle. Luck. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. Block. Oh. oh, nice, nice fucking slip. Oh my god, let me. You're all ruin good. It you're again. all good. Superman punch. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, another thing that you can do, just so your character doesn't like go out of that, you can just hold LT and it locks onto the the uh, opponent. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, so that it doesn't break. Okay. Oh, nice. Good. Uh, good uh, uh. Aggressive swings here. Block. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. Nice, good shoulder. That freaking Superman punch. I can't block. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, worked. Worked. I'm being pushed out. <laughs> Oh. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Oh man, almost, almost. Nice, good shoulder. Little shoulder pull there. Oh, we're going out of bounds, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm getting worked. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Nice, good luck. Ah oh, man! Oh! Nice, good counter. <laughs> nice, good Random stuff. baby good maker. Oh. oh, what a counter! Nice. Oh damn! We both got the jab in. That was funny as fuck. <laughs> oh my god! What a... oh, oh, no! Oh. Block! Back up! Oh no, it's not allowing me to get these fucking underhands. Oh, nice combo. Oh, my arm is about to explode! Use the power within! I am a bird. I am a plane. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I literally need right at right hand endurance right now. Um, this is intense, bro. Oh man, I can block that. Oh, no, I went. Oh. Good fight. Slapped, GGs. man. You got me down low, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. My shit is. My hands are sweaty as fuck, right? Dude, now. that was insane. That was <laughs> super Good insane, shit, dude. Bro. Good shit. Dude, that was awesome. I learned a lot. I learned, like, the most effective thing, like you said, was the, the Superman mm -hmm. punches. The unblockable Definitely. Superman punches. Yes, you, yes. You landed um, a decent amount of Superman punches, and I tried to steal, mm -hmm. like, those opportunities, but you were always, like, one step ahead. Yes. Um, that was sick. Uh, I guess. <laughs> that was yeah, sick, good man. fight, man. You're you're pretty good. Not gonna lie, you're pretty good. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I learned a lot the first time we... Uh, we kind of like squared up there. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, I'm all I'm all tense, man. Both my arms are jacked up, and like uh, my <laughs> adrenaline is fucking flowing through my veins, dude. Sick. <laughs> I think uh, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for uh, tonight. Yeah, bro, definitely, yeah. definitely. Sick, 100%. sick. All right, so we'll uh, we'll definitely get that going. Uh, we'll definitely get that going uh, soon. So um, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be fine. And then. <gasps> How have you been, sniper? It's been a few days. Oh, you know, living the fucking dream. Uh, How about you? Oh, yeah, hey. by the way, that fight club that you said, oh, don't oh. stay up because you're going to feel like shit the next day? Yeah, you were right. You were I right. told you. That was terrible. That was a shit fucking day. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. The <laughs> longest fucking was, nine hours uh, of my goddamn life. When I was moving the names, I accidentally moved two people around. Uh, Sniper, you were supposed to fight Angel. Oh. Oh, but Naomi yeah. was winning. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So finish the I fight. I was about to get my butt well, handed to right now, We're though. gonna go ahead and take second. a break from that, and we're gonna put chicken and hell in there because oh, those okay. two are supposed to fight. I don't have so, any meat. All I got is baked beans. Sniper, so, if you're fighting, angel, oh, you got to rose. 
Chicken What's and hell, please. What about me fighting Angel? Ship. You are going to lose if you fight Angel. I've beaten them before, so uh, don't count your chickens Doubt quite it. yet, Chief. Good job, Niles. Doubt, Doubt it. Thank Ask you, Golden. Did you change your character? Money on you, bro. No, she's the same. She I just changed her fight, hair color. Fight. Okay, well, oh, okay. no joking, first of all. Like, you look Let's do it. You look good, though. Grappling, what the <laughs> fuck was... We're gonna have to gate, bro? You need to start over. I, I didn't even... Yeah, I didn't no. even choke him. That wasn't even me. No, no but don't. grapple Someone is also grapple against the rules, bro. That's a rule. It was, it was chicken. You can't. But you already have chill. to start over. Okay, I grapple too right. accidentally sometimes, but it's no big deal. Alright. You're all good, you're all good. Both of you heal. Let him heal up. Uh, sorry. sorry. I'm here. I'm healed up. Good push. <laughs> I got paid was that today, open? and I feel like I've been I robbed. Think. Good fight, by the way. Chicken, was that <laughs> yeah. open? Yeah. God damn, okay. I would have had you in like three moves, but you just refused to, to fucking die. <laughs> I need to support my boba addiction, okay? <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's 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 Look, I can't even claim the money if I win it, okay? If you want it that bad, I'll give it to you. Lanterns no, out, people. I got people. paid today. I could easily, I could easily buy it, but... Extra I mean, money for Hubba Bubba like... is nice. Cinematic oh. Alright, I gotta go take a leak. I'll be back in a second. So, Thank try you. not to try not to die too fast. Yeah, I need to go to the toilet too, real quick. I'm not gonna lie. That's hot. It's <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna go get her a bottle of whiskey, I'll be back. Yeah, let's go! Hmm. Damn, he weaving. Yeah, he said, fuck. Whack. Me. I get it, dude. Oh, get it going. Oh, yeah. no! Oh, wait, wait, what the- Oh my god. Easy dub. No, no, I pulled out my pistol there. Alright. How the fuck- Hell. I'm disqualified. Disqualified. Alright, my bad. That's rough. Easy dub for chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Keep aiming Oh, I got them. drift stick. So. Yeah, same give here. Angel, give me angel, give me a I know, it's you pain in the air. We love that, right? It helps sometimes, but other times it hinders. I heard me, but who else? Angel and Sniper. Angel. I think you're so peeing. Oh. oh, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna need music before you. I can see. Good y'all. Oh, the tiger. Da -da -da. Sniper, I'm gonna need you, bro. Back on your feet. <laughs> Alright, Angel. Took my, chance. Took my chances. <laughs> it's the Eye of the Tiger. Four flowers. Duh. Rip his head off. That was shit. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Grab it and twist it. <laughs> Give me the old dick twist. The good old dick twist. <laughs> Angel's trying now though. Beating him now is gonna be a different fucking story entirely. <laughs> Do I got any more snackies? I think I got some Oreos left. Over ya! Yeah, I got some milk Ooh. to go with it too. Oh yeah, best way. Good combo, nice. You know, somebody was telling me earlier, or was mm. it this morning, like five in the morning, that they though. stick a fork yeah. in the no Oreos. Fucking, Paco. No shot yes. I win this. If you do it a little Paco, bit, Paco, Paco. it won't fall off. Yeah, because mine broke in half yesterday and I lost it in the okay, milk. Okay. You know, they the also abyss. have like this set my brother got from Five Below. And Ooh. it comes with a cup and it comes with a thing to go on it. And you can put the cookies in it. Ooh. And it comes with tongs what for a the smack. Oreos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you just put the tongs in the milk. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Fight, yeah, God, you man. did it. Angel, <laughs> Angel won, yes. Angel got a hand. Angel is I not should probably cook some meat. I'm gonna be at this fire mm -hmm. over here. Are you not entertained? 
Good shit though, sniper man. I can I can beat Lob in a fist fight easy. The people enough, in the finals, Clutchy, Angel, Gold, and Chicken. For the runner up rounds to see who gets to be put back into the pool, give me Tanto, give me Sniper. Oh, oh thank God, God you didn't oh, call me. I didn't want to fight The return of the back. Titans. The return of the Titans. Let's go, Tanto. Respect, that would have been child bro. abuse if you put me against Tanto. Come on, baby, you got this. Yeah. Respect you too, Tonto, but I want to win. <laughs> Let's go, Tonto. On There's only ball. gonna be one. I'm, I'm give him a little back. To give him a little Wait, back actually, rub. One second, let me let me uh, take the weapons off my back real quick. I didn't realize that the bomb. I've never seen the weight say perfect. What does that mean? Perfect. I'm sorry, I made you go by yourself. Oh, it means you're like um. I don't know. It basically That's means that you match. <laughs> I was gonna your, go with your body weight is like matching your. <laughs> your all right, all right, you got this. Yes. You got this, bro. Yes, exactly. You got this. Yeah, babe, get him. Okay, let's do it. Hey, big man. Right. Right. Is ready. I have favorites. Don't have any yep. cool emotes like that, but let's get it. <laughs> ding ding. Ooh, says, no. the shove. <laughs> well, Tanto oh, is my yeah. boyfriend, so. <laughs> all the combos. Yeah, you think oh, he's your left hook? <laughs> oh, response. Ah, uh, you better get used to sharing. He's our boy. <laughs> Significant strikes. <laughs> it's just Valentine's Day and they're against the back wall waiting their turn to get their gifts. A legal headbutt. A legal? Fuck you, me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> You get this, Tanta. What the fuck? I don't know, my camera angle's all kinds of fucked up, bro. Oh, I've been telling everybody, be careful with Dove. They found that their new recipe uses a lot more cancer-causing ingredients. I'm allergic to Dove. I don't know why. Oh my I like, god. I like using really the raw African soap right with the seeds in it. Yeah. With the I'm seeds. I'm an aptitician, I learned not to yeah. use Dove. <laughs> Yeah, Dove is all I have right now, but I just ordered a pound of soap on Amazon. It'll be here on the first. A pound of soap? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut it. Yeah! It was, a, it was a deal, man. It was a deal. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. It's how they get you, bro. That's how they get you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Ooh, hey. Yes, Tata. I believe yeah, in shit, you. Yeah, bro. You're a warrior. You're a fucking warrior, bro. Good fight, Tata. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and to see who goes back in, we still need a Chanto versus I Newbie. I complain about the game being Oh, it's like the right king of the hill, actually. Oh, I'm coming. Hold on, I'm cooking my last two pieces of meat. You're all good. Take your time. You got it, Niobe. So, Tanto, you remember when I took that really awesome picture of you and you didn't beat me to death? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, what did we learn? It hurt, didn't it? Yep, you gotta walk it off. Hey, yo, chicken. I don't know, bro. I think my photographer is better. Don't get mad at me. You hurt yourself. I told you. <laughs> I didn't hear I no bell. She fucking, she fucking ate with that one. I don't care. <laughs> yo, survival. And of course, my knee stands right in front of the TV. No, mama. I don't know, but I'm sitting right here. Sniper's body is glitching out in this grave right now. Hey, don't touch my, don't touch my body. Ready. And I've realized. All right, no fighters ready. ready. Nobody else can see. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Why did it make you turn? I have no idea. Yeah, fight, fight to the again. death. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyone know Gray Hog? Does nobody else see it? Anyone meet him? Ooh, no. the counter. Mike is killing my head. I can't open my salad. I'm dead already? Ooh, Rain right the Baby Maker. Oh. What do you mean you can't open your salad? <laughs> I was about to say, why can't you Ooh. Yeah, baby. GG's. Yes, and to no surprise, This is why you need mix. to have a steak day. <laughs> I have just ate a to piece of steak. <laughs> It's the beer. I'm telling you, it's this the beer why, I'm drinking right this now. This is Help why I'm, I'm that was the whiskey kind of I'm drinking. Yeah, it's down <laughs> Wait, this is why Dad left. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Tonto, uh, you why. will win this. I have faith. Oh, I ate bad yeah, beer. <laughs> nope, no same, oh no, the thunder's side. roaring, bro. Shut up. 
Just like in Shawshank Redemption. Same side, line up, Putsy, Angel, Gold, Chicken, Tonto. Sign, I can size you up for round two. Oh, they smeared off, t -sweared. I like the flower crown you got on Angel, it matches your skirt. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of No Randos. We hope you were able What's to on, keep right? it as funny and as informative as possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be back next time, so stay tuned.